Hi, my name is Charlotte Marie Bailey, and I am your red carpet host for the Twin Cities Film Fest presented by Stearns Bank. I am standing here with Marisa Coughlin, actor, writer, and Bo Bridges, actor, for the days, days when the rains came down. Well, days when the rains came. <laughs> days, days when the rains came. <laughs> and they play a uh, father and daughter in this film. And I just want to say that I have respected your, both of your work individually as actors. Thank you. You're welcome. And I grew up on your work and your family's work. And I appreciate how you give life to words on paper. So thank you for that. And speaking of words on paper, <laughs> you played the role of the writer as well for this film. Yes. Yes. Can you tell me what inspired you to write this? Uh, well, it was partially inspired by the fact that I lost my dad and was incredibly close to my dad and was uh, sort of in the midst of grieving that around the same time that I moved home to Minnesota here where I'm originally from and sort of started to go to all the places that I used to go when he was around and it just kind of triggered this waterfall of memories and then um, also he had once told me a story about a girl he'd met and sort of always wondered about which also got me thinking about like how everyone kind of has that person and so it's sort of inspired by all those things that came together. And how did you start writing because you started as an actor right. so how did you get into uh, writing? Well, I was on a show called Boston Legal, which um, maybe ages me, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I had a really fun character on that show and I really loved it. And David Kelly is obviously an amazing writer. And so I just kind of was inspired and wrote an episode of it in which my character was shamelessly like the lead of the, you know, had a really great role in that episode that I wrote. And I was sort of inspired by the people that ran that show. Like, we're not gonna make this episode but we, we really think you actually are a writer and so it just sort of inspired me to write more and more and more and then this one I just kind of wrote I have four kids and no time at all and so I'd wake up at five in the morning and write and just kind of I just sort of it just kind of poured out of me so I guess this one I just had to write. Awesome. Is, is this your first feature film that you have written? It is my first feature that I've written yes. Yeah. Congratulations you. to you. Thank you very much. Now, you write, um, but you write episodes for episodes. Yes, I've written quite a bit of television, yes, yeah. Mostly pilots, though, yeah. And uh, Bo or Mr. Bridges, I'm sorry, which, which do you prefer? Boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, can you tell me what pulled at your heartstrings to make you want to be a part of this film? Well, you know, I always love story about family. And also when it's a very personal story, as this one was for Marisa, uh, it makes it sort of extra special for me, I think, when, when they're personal stories. And I think all of us uh, at different times in our lives are sort of challenged with uh, the issues of the unknown. And, uh, you know, we hopefully have our own spiritual support to take take on those challenges but uh, what makes it really possible and comfortable to get through those those moments of facing something that's unknown are are your family and your friends you know they get you through and the older you get like me I'm an old dude uh, I'm in a place in my life where I'm very fortunate that I have a real supportive group of friends and family to uh, take a look up at, at what uh, what the next chapter is going to be because I don't know what it's going to be and uh, it uh, I can face it with joy and uh, a good expectation rather than being uh, worried and, and defeated by it and I think this movie is a lot about that it's about someone um, coming to grips with uh, with with their own family about dealing with what's what's going to happen next what the unknown is and and there's uh there's really a, an undercurrent of love throughout the whole thing i mean i have a a love story with a lady that i just meet there for the first time and uh at my age he's a man that has lost his wife 
probably never thinks that that's going to happen again. And he basically falls in love with this lady. <laughs> this nurse is taking care of him. And uh, it's, it's really a beautiful story. And I have a daughter myself. I have four boys, but I do have a daughter. So the story was close to me in terms of uh, relating to that as well. Thank you. And because th th there was that loss that occurred in the film, it's sometimes you can get emotional. Was there a, a support system there for everybody? Did everybody feel like they could support one another emotionally? Um, yeah, I mean, I think so. You know, we, I certainly felt he was a wonderful force to have around because he's a seasoned vet, but also, you know, and like I told him, I laughed that I, we have a scene where he tells the story and in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm just going to listen to him, but I'm not going to cry. I'm probably not going to cry when he, when I'm listening, but there was like no version of me listening to that story and not crying because he's amazing and you just feel so drawn in by it. So I think we had, we had a good creative community and a good bond there. Yeah, and it's, it's about something that we all relate to, too. Like I was talking before, I mean, uh, my daughter uh, got her master's here at the University of Minnesota, and uh, my son-in-law did as well. He's a physicist, and she is an actress. Interesting combo. And I always pepper him with questions, and I, I asked him, uh, I said, tell me, Gordy, uh, this whole thing about black holes. I said, what happens when all that flocksum jetsum gets sucked into the black hole because does it just disappear? And he said, well, you know, he said there's a whole group of us new young physicists coming up that say, yes, uh, it does disappear, uh, but the history remains. And that was so comforting because, yeah. Yeah. you know, Legacy. yeah, that the spirit remains. Yeah. In other words, all those those things that were floating around as planets and meteors and stuff, yeah. yeah, they disappear from what we see, but they affected the universe when they were there, just yeah. like our we do in in life, yeah. through our children, through our friends, through contacts we made, through yeah. things we built and achieved, whatever you know, that that doesn't go. <laughs> yeah. Through our art, hopefully, you know? Yes. And because you were actor and writer on this film, yeah. uh, was it hard for you to wear those two hats? Um, no, actually. I think maybe because it's such a personal story, it just sort of was actually really comforting to be... Um, to be there and to kind of, I mean, it's not exactly my life or anything, but it's, mm -hmm. it's close enough to me. And, and he, I told him when I, when I asked him to be a part of the movie, I'm like, you just have a something, a warmth about you that reminds me of my dad. And he, you know, obviously isn't my dad, but he brought such a similar warmth and whatever, that it was actually a joy <laughs> to kind of do a scene that really verbatim would have been the way we interacted. And with him, it was, it was comforting and fun. So for me too, you know, I, I've directed films before, mm -hmm. and I also worked with my dad and directed him in movies when we were both actors, and it was weird for me in the beginning because I wondered if he was going to be, when I'm in a scene with him, if I could look into his eyes and see him judging me and stuff, <laughs> and I wondered about this one, if she's going to be doing that, but there was none of that. We, no, when we know. got into the, the scenes and the characters that we portrayed, uh, it just happened, you know, yeah. it just, it was pretty natural. Very natural connection. But he loves his children so much that I could feel that. Even though I was just playing <laughs> one of his children, I could like feel that warmth emanating off of him, you know? I was going to ask, how did you all meet? And was it through your daughter, who's the actress, or? Well, how she did knows you my son, Jordan, too. They. I do. I did a movie with his son. So, but I honestly, we just kind of—it was kind of a cold call. We sent a letter through the agent with the script and an offer, and I told him how I felt about him, and I said, I hope you'll read the script and entertain the notion of playing this character, and he said yes. Yeah, the story is always the most important thing to me. Like. Shakespeare said the play's the thing and that's still true I think and it was she wrote a great a great story and I responded to it and are, are you planning on writing more feature films 
I would like to. Um, I just finished writing a, a TV spec, and I don't, I don't know yet what's next. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> what we do know next for you is you're on a, a CBS's Matlock as Howard, and you had some news you want to share with us about that? Yeah, we just got picked up for our second season, which is uh, pretty unique after only a couple episodes, and we're all really grateful for that. I've had a lot of fun on that show. Kathy Bates plays Maddie Matlock this time around, and she's great. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love Kathy. And you are also in uh, Neon Highway? Yeah, because of uh, when COVID hit, which was there uh, just at the very uh, end of that for our project, a lot of the independent films were delayed. So I have like three or four of those com coming out. And so uh, Neon Highway is one. I have one called Camera. It's coming out, and hopefully ours will be coming out soon. And cameras with your son, camera, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to when ours gets out there, which yes. will hopefully will be Very soon. soon, yes. We're negotiating right now, so we should have something to announce soon. I love hearing that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, will this be your first time seeing it in its entirety with us? We I, we screened it Tuesday night for a little private screening for a fundraiser for the film festival. So that was my first time really seeing it with a brand kind of a new audience. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was it was really nice. It's not even entirely done because we still don't have the credit block at the end. So just fair warning when you watch it, you're like, wait, is it over or is it not over? But <laughs> uh, but yeah, it'll be nice. We have my kids are here and we have, you know, a lot of family and friends here which will be fun to have them all here is there anything else you would like to say before we wrap this up no thank you very much for talking to us it's been good well, thank you for all the work that you've done and and thank your your brother and your children for the work that they're putting out as well and we're looking forward to acting six acting lessons was six lessons that's one that my daughter and i wrote together yeah and she directed me in it actually it's we saw it here. They screened it here, and it's yeah, wonderful, beautiful. Ago, yeah. Thank you so much Thank you for so speaking. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. Twin Cities Film Festival. I will add that because Jaden's been so supportive, and I'm so happy for him that it's the 15-year anniversary, and he's just wonderful. So I'm grateful to him and to the whole festival for supporting us like this. Thank you. I'm so honored to have the uh, opportunity to interview the two of you on the red carpet for the Twin Cities Film Fest. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in.